Hi, I wanted to make a short introduction video uh, with a tip of how you can make position sensing with your snare drum on a digital uh, um, setup. And uh, it's very uh, uh, actual now uh, because the Mimic Pro has released uh, the position sensing on its module, which is very nice and very good. But if you uh, can't afford a Mimic, Mimic Pro module, uh, then there are uh, cheaper ways uh, to do it. And I will show you how I do it. Uh, I uh, use a used TD10 module, uh, which I bought used for less than 200 bucks. Uh, and it's um, uh, the sounds, the snare sounds are not so good in itself because it's more than 20 years old. Uh, but I, I mix it uh, with uh, my Drummit 3 module sounds and I think then the, uh, the uh, sounds in the TD10 also comes to live and it has position sensing so I have one uh, sensor uh, in on the snare a center uh, uh, sensor center pizza sensor and it uh, is hooked up to the TD10 snare uh, input and it has position sensing on center uh, pizzas so it works it sends out its uh, position sensing uh, information and uh, also sound and i mix that with the drumit uh, 3 module sounds uh, which takes its triggering from uh, a side sensor instead a side mounted uh, pizza so these two sounds from the snare are mixed together and uh, so f so the position sensing adds uh, some more overtones when you hit the edge uh, and uh, that's uh, that comes from the roller module and the center sound of the snare comes from the uh, drum e3 so i have um, also filtered out the uh, low frequencies from from the Roland module so I only have like uh, frequencies above uh, six seven hundred Hertz uh, so you only get the ringing and the snare sound from the actual TD10 so uh, I can give you first I give you an example how it sounds without the mixing and then I give you an example of how it sounds when you actually do the mixing so that's what I'm going to do now So in this way you can uh, have a very, mu uh, very much cheaper position sensing uh, than if you buy Mimic Pro, um, and I can you can also do it do it for the for the ride, uh, which has position sensing on the TD10. So that's all from me. Um, so if you can buy a used old Roland flagship module, then this is a, a way to improve the sound quality from that and use it as a trigger interface and you can also use it as a trig cheap trigger interface to actually trigger for example superior dumb three which has position sensing uh, as an articulation uh, and it also handles the cc data uh, with position sensing information that the td10 sends out so that's a way to even more get a really really good quality sounds with position sensing to use an old Roland, Roland module to trigger a uh, superior drummer which I unfortunately don't own uh, so I have to stick to my Drummit 3. Thank you for listening to the end.
See you.